All right, guys, so let's get right into it. I'm going to tell you why I made a DIY self-heating enclosure for my Pecron power station. Uh, mainly because we're in Michigan and it's December and we're about to hit single digit weather in the next few weeks. In our previous video, we installed a Vivor diesel heater to heat our off-grid e-bike solar shed, which has been working great so far. And I only use it when I'm working on e-bikes to stay warm. Since this is a resin shed with almost no insulation, I needed a way to keep our Pecron portable power station and a few tool batteries at an indoor temperature while drawing the least amount of watts from the power station. And while the Pecron can discharge down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit, it still needs to be above 30 degrees Fahrenheit to charge. So my aim was to keep the temperature of the Pecron between 50 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. Now here in Michigan, sometimes the temperature drops down to like 10 degrees. So it was really important to keep this thing warm. And then during the day, I could use the diesel heater to maintain a comfortable temperature within the entire shed. I also wanted to keep things extremely simple and affordable. So to me, that meant using an all-in-one power station like the Pecron versus sourcing separate self-heating batteries, an inverter, controller, and wires. Okay, so now let's go over all the parts I used. Groovy. So the first thing I got was this 3D printer enclosure tent. Now these are used to provide a stable temperature for 3D printing to prevent warping and also to exhaust smoke or harmful gas. It also comes with a five watt LED light bar that attaches to the frame. It's also waterproof and fireproof and also has this see-through window over here. So you can monitor the levels on your power station. Basically, we'll be using this as an insulated hot box or like a mini shed within the shed. To reinforce the insulation within the enclosure, I bought this double-sided insulation made from reflective aluminum film and polyethylene air bubbles. So having more insulation helps to create a barrier between the warm air inside the enclosure and the cold air inside the shed. I bought two sheets of the 24 inch by 10 foot length. Now to remotely monitor the temp inside of the enclosure, I bought this Govi Wi-Fi thermometer, which allows me to easily monitor temp and humidity data in real time from anywhere. I can also set an alert if the temperature falls below 30 degrees Fahrenheit, and the app is really simple to use. And finally, the most important part of this project is this temperature controller made for 3D printers. So what this does is automatically heat the enclosure based on your target temperature. So for us, we have it set to about 15 degrees Celsius. It's extremely lightweight and only uses between zero and 55 watts of power, depending on the temperature temperature settings. I thought about using a heated blanket or a chicken coop heater, but to me, this is the best option because of how little power it draws. It also turns on automatically when plugged in, which means I can attach it to my smart switch and create a schedule for when to turn it on and off. The way I have it set up is some Velcro on the bottom and I just mount it on top of the Pecron like so. And then the heat blows upwards and sort of dissipates around the enclosure. With the size of this enclosure, it allows me to put the Pecron in, an expansion battery, a couple of chargers, as well as some tool batteries over here. And I could put another tool battery over here and even some kind of on this side as well. Here's where I have all my wires, things that are connected to the shed, as well as the solar panels and the workshop lighting over here. And to keep everything insulated, I just pull the zippers down like so. And then over here as well and that keeps everything warm inside of the tent. I also added this moving blanket on the top just for some extra insulation. I also added this plastic tray on top to protect the enclosure from caving in over here. And I can also put some tools, keys, whatever I want on the top while I'm working. Now here's a look at the Govi Wi-Fi thermometer app. You can also track some of the temperature uh, at different times during the day. But yeah, this is really helpful to monitor my temperatures and also to optimize how often I want the heater to turn on or off, which then helps improve the battery life of the Pecron. You have done that yourself. So that's pretty much all there is to it. This enclosure setup can also work for storing your e-bike or tool batteries inside of a garage or shed. I'll put a link in the description for all the parts I used. And if you have any suggestions on how to improve this build, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.